Hey guys, welcome back. In the last tutorial, we laid out our screen and we talked about the content size fitter and layout elements, layout groups. You can see a link to that in the bottom in the description or up here and or even from the website that you're seeing this from. Um, so if you need a refresher on that, go back and check that out. Uh, and I ended that tutorial by saying that we were going to start adding functionality to some of our, our buttons and making some new uh, screens. Uh, but I did realize that we left one thing out and looking at our design here we left out the UI text so in this tutorial we're actually going to talk about UI text and uh, explore how they work a little bit in unity and then we're going to um, and then we're going to bring them here into our main project so let's get started so we're gonna go back to unity and I'm gonna go I'm just gonna to go to my main panel I'm gonna right click I'm gonna UI text we're going to add a text there and since I need three of them I'm just going to go ahead and right click on this text and I'm going to hit uh, duplicate and then I'll duplicate that last one as well so you right click on that hit duplicate and then um, so it's called text text one and then text two and they're all in the same space here but let's go ahead and move we'll grab this text and we're going to move it uh, about right here maybe about where the last one was and then we're going to take this text and we're going to move it at the bottom of this one and then we're going to take this text here uh oh go back and then we're going to move that one down here just a tad right so and we can line them up better later uh, but one thing I noticed is you can't really see what the text says so and uh, so we're going to highlight this text and since we want, we want that to go with this first image and if we look back at our last one it said learn to own the room so we're going to go back to unity and we're going to make sure that's highlighted here we're selected go to the inspector and we're going to type in learn to own the room And I just want to make sure that we're doing it just like that. Learn to own the room. Oh, it's all lowercase. So we're going to change this to lowercase. Then we're going to hit enter. And it still looks weird, but we're going to change the color, right? So let's go down. Uh, and right here where it says color, we can click on that. And we're going to make that. We're going to drag. We're going to click there in this color palette here. And we're going to go all the way up to the white. We're going to make it white. And then we're going to hit enter and now it's white now we can look and see what the font looks like yeah, it's about the same we can make it uh, sorry we can go back to unity we can make it a little bigger if we want but one thing I want to show you in the text uh, script here in the inspector we, there's a lot of things we can do we can change the font size we can you can actually scroll you can type in a font size if you want like 12 you can if you put your cursor right next to it you see these arrows and if you hold down the mouse button you can scroll left and you can scroll right and so you can make it a little bigger that way too uh, you can do line spacing I like when I do text like this I like to put it right in the center and right here the alignment and in the center there as well and then you can move this just like that now we can make this a little bigger so we can make it bigger and then we actually increase our font if we want that to be a tad bigger and say you maybe you like it that big let's see let's play with this maybe we want it to be let's put it at 20 but it kind of you know it it leaves our space so to fix that you just click right here and then kind of move that over until it all fits and then we can drag the whole thing over just like that so the cool thing about doing that is it pads it enough so you can use the edges right of your of your box to kind of line it up just like this so it kind of snaps in place there okay so that's one text down and then let's take the other text and let's do the same thing so we can go over here oh and I'll, I'll, I'll show you another little quick thing so maybe you've had you've um, changed the uh, the dimensions of this text box and you've already put in the font and you don't want to have to redo it for all so you can click here you can go over to text script and this little gear icon here oh let me bring that down a bit there's a gear icon here if you hit that you can hit copy component and then you can go over to another text box and then you can paste component values and it pasted everything in that you for that for that 
particular component. Now the size is still off, so if we go back to text, we go up here to the transform part, hit that, hit copy, um, copy component, and then go down here and then hit paste component values. And it, so what it did is it took it up to that position, but it made the box the same size. So now we can just move that down and now we have the same size and then we can change that as we need. So we can do the same thing here. And then move this down as well. And then we'll do the same thing for the text. So we'll go over here, we'll copy the component values for the text object. Copy component. And then paste component values. And then we can change the text now. So let's go over to see. So this one was Network Professionals. The other one was Join the Experience. Let's go back to Unity. And we're going to say Network with Professionals. If I can type properly. And as we can see it all, it didn't fit in everything over here. So we're just going to bring this out until it all fits in. And then we're going to text two. And then this one was join the experience. Join the experience. Okay. Enter. And all that fits. That's good. So there you go. We have those three texts in now. So it looks pretty similar to what we have over here. Okay, so some other things your text components you can do. Um, I'll go ahead and highlight all of them at once, and then we can do other cool things too. So we can, um, so if this thing, we can do best fit, and it will kind of make a best fit for it. I don't really like using this because I like to really control that. Uh, the vertical overflow, you can truncate, you can overflow it, you can wrap the text if you like. Um, and then here are the font you can put in different fonts uh, unity comes kind of built in with Arial, uh, but something that um, is really good practice to do is if you're using a font you should import it now we don't have this problem with some fonts with um, ios development but when you get into android development um, you will want to download and, and install that font and um, and so yes, yeah, so make sure you have those fonts available actually in Unity, because what um, what Unity does is a lot of times that we use the font that's built into the operating system. So iOS has a lot of these kind of built in, but Android doesn't. So when it goes to Android, it kind of the text looks wonky. It doesn't look right. So you want to make sure that you import a text into Unity and point to it. And I can show you that um, later on as well. So. Actually, I'll, I'll just go ahead and show you now, because if we look here, if we click here and we try to pick another, the only thing that Unity has right now is Arial. So maybe we want to use a different text. Maybe we want to use, um, I don't know, we can pick anyone. So I, one of the I use is, um, I'll just go download it. So we can go to Unity. You can find a lot of uh, fonts for free. So we'll just type in free fonts. And here we go. So there's all kinds of ones we can do. Um, let's just find one we like that's pretty close. I kind of like rock out. That kind of looks cool. <laughs> but maybe you like Ariel. We could see if we could find another one. I like this one. We're going to use this one. I'm going to download this. Again, you can use any font that you like. I'm just showing you an example of how to do that. We're going to open with our archiver. And we've got the OTF and the TTF. So um, all you really need to do is install this uh, .ttf file. 
So we can take this. I'm just going to minimize that. I'm going to open up Unity. And then I'll open this back up. And then we're going to grab this and drag it down here into our project panel. And now we have that font. So just to, for housekeeping purposes, I'm going to create a new folder. And I'm going to call this folder fonts. And I'm going to drag this into our font folder. So now we can go back to our text. I'm going to highlight all of them. And I'm going to go to where it says Arial. I'm going to bring in, well, first I'm going to open up fonts. Let me highlight all of my text again. And I'm going to drag this over to there. Boom. And now they're all in there. Not too bad. And you can do this with any font that you want, guys. And I just recommend that if you're going to use a font, don't just use the one that's built into Unity. Um, for instance, if you still want to use Arial, I would go out and find an Arial font and import it in here into your project and make sure that it's actually in the build. Okay? So it looks done, but let me show you. If we move this around, let me find one. Our texts aren't staying where they should be, where we initially designed them for, right? And that is because if you look here, <clears throat> they are just, uh, they're, they're in, the, in the home screen elements um, in, in the main panel, right? But, we, but they're all anchored to the center of the screen. So wherever we put them on the main screen, they're not going to be there if other resolution, other resolution screens come into play. Um, a quick fix for this is we know where we want them to be, right? They're going to be in the bottom right of each one of these images, okay? So what we'll do is we'll just make them a child of the image they're associated with. So for instance, we know that learn, learn to own the room is going to be a child of the top button. So we're just going to grab this and we're going to drag it up the top button. And then um, we can also going to anchor it right to, we, we know we want it to be at the bottom right of that top button. So we're going to make sure that text is highlighted here. And it is, and then we're going to go over here and we're going to move the anchor to be the bottom right. Then we'll do the same thing for text two. It will go with the middle button. That's going to be bottom right. Do the same thing for text two. That's going to go for the last, the bottom button. And that's going to be bottom right. So now we can test this out for different screens, right? The, these text elements should be the same place no matter where we go. So we just go all the way up. iPhone tall. There you go. And we'll do iPhone tall again. They're all where they should be. iPhone tall. That was iPad tall. iPhone 5 tall. And iPhone tall again. So there you go. So they're all where they should be. They're in the spot where they where we want them to be. And so that, that's how you do that, guys. So yeah, really, really quick tutorial. Um, if you have any questions, again, you can always email me or put a message down in the comments. Uh, but that's a really quick and dirty way to put our text in and make sure you have your fonts associated with it. So I believe in the next tutorial, we will definitely be talking about um, how we can navigate to different screens um, with the push of one of these buttons. Okay, so tune in for that one and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mm -hmm.